Here's our next shape. It's called the trigonal bipyramidal molecule. And that is a molecule that is formed when we have one central molecule and five appendages, so to speak, five terminal molecules at the end of five bonds. A good example of that would be uh, phosphorus uh, pentachloride. Uh, notice we have one phosphorus atom, five chloride atoms. Phosphorus has five valence electrons, so it could make up to five bonds, five single bonds. Each of the chlorine atoms would like to have one additional electron to fill its valence shell, so it's going to have a sharing arrangement. In this case, there's going to be five of those sharing arrangements making those five bonds. Those are single bonds. Now, the question is, what will that molecule look like? Would it look like a little bit like a starfish with five appendages like that? And uh, then it would be a planar molecule. But then again, if it was a planar molecule, the bond angle between each, because remember these, these electrons that are bonding, this and then these three will stay in a planar sense so three of them in a plane that's where the trigonal comes from and then of course the bipyramid molecule shows that at the top we have what we would call hmm I'm not doing so well here but let me get it arranged like this so at the top we have what we call a three-sided pyramid at the bottom we have a three-sided pyramid and if you put them base to base you end up with a three-sided pyramid on top three-sided pyramid at the bottom and you put a molecule like that so so this forms the base for the top pyramid and for the bottom pyramid notice if you connect these two to this one you have one side of the pyramid connect these two to this one you have the second side connect those two to this one you have the third side in the back same at the bottom and you end up with a shape like that when you have a shape like that notice that like this three molecules like this in a plane one straight up one straight down and that's what we call the trigonal bipyramidal molecule so that's the basic shape in the case that you end up with one central molecule and five terminal molecules at the end like that